What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren and I am better known here on YouTube as the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I'm that guy that loves looking good and smelling amazing. There's been a tag video going around and a lot of reviewers have been talking about their top 10 niche fragrances. If they could only keep 10, what would they keep? And I would like to say that I was tagged by um, um, myself. <laughs> I was tagged by myself, and uh, who better to tag me than myself? Like that, don't you? If this is your first time coming to my channel and stopping by, welcome. Uh, here at the Bowtie Fragrance Guy channel, we like to do what we call a moment of subscribing. So if it's your first time, or if it's not your first time, but you just for some reason haven't had the opportunity to hit that subscribe button, we're going to give you a moment to do so. In Bowtie Fragrance Guy fashion, of course. So, have that. Okay, <laughs> that was enough until you guys took a moment and hit subscribe. Hey guys, it's easy, man. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a little bit, so I sincerely appreciate it. So today I'm going to give you my top 10 niche fragrances. If I can only keep 10, what would I keep? Stay tuned and you'll find out. I'm going to talk about my top 10 niche fragrances. If I can only have 10 in my collection, what would I keep? It's a very, very hard job. Somebody has to do it. And the Bowtie Fragrance Guy is up to the task. Now, I will say that I have two honorable mentions that I want to go ahead and mention to you guys quickly. The first one, I didn't bring it down with it, but I thought about it, and I at least had to mention it. My most complimented Creed fragrance is Silver Mountain Water. Uh, very, very rich floral. Uh, the tea note in there is, is amazing. Comes off kind of metallic, but it's wonderful. It's my most complimented Creed fragrance in my collection. So I did want to mention Silver Mountain Water, and I did want to mention also from the house of Aqua de Palma. This is called Fico Diamalfi. Now this has a host of, host of citrus notes in it, as well as that prominent fig. It's a very beautiful, revitalizing, fresh citrusy fragrance to wear in the summertime. And I definitely wanted to at least mention it. It just kind of uh, was edged out by another fragrance for my top ten, but I did want to mention Diamalfi from the house of Aqua de Palma. Now, I'm going to leave you guys in suspense, so I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I would definitely keep Creed's Aventus. I don't really have to say a lot about this fragrance, but it's very, very polarizing and one of the most popular fragrances in the fragrance community. If you've been in the fragrances for five minutes or five years, you've probably heard about this one. It's smoky and pineapple with the dry birch. Uh, but it's a beautiful fragrance, and that's why it's talked about so much, and that's why so many people like it. So I would definitely have to keep Creed Aventus. The next fragrance that I will have to keep come from the private blend line of Tom Ford, and this is none other than Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. This one is Tobacco and Vanilla. It's very sophisticated. Uh, it's a beast mode performer. You get 10 plus hours out of this. Just a fragrance that you definitely have to have in your collection for the fall and winter months. Um, it's a very, very rich, true tobacco uh, in this, and it's sweetened up just a little bit by, by the vanilla. So I would definitely keep Tom Ford's tobacco beneath. Next fragrance on my list that I will have to keep comes from the house of Amouage and this is Amouage Lyric Man. This has one of the most true rose notes um, that I've ever smelled but I really really enjoy the way that it's done by Amouage here because it's been made to be more masculine with the addition of incense. It also has a host of other uh, citrus notes as well but to me the major players of course are the rose and the incense. So I had to keep this one because it's so unique. Out of all the, the uh, niche fragrances that I own, a masculine rose fragrance was definitely one that stood out to me and I really, really enjoy wearing this. From the house of Amouage, this is Lyric Man. The next fragrance on my list comes from the house of Bond Number 9. Very, very popular fragrance as well in the fragrance community needs no introduction. This is none other than Bleak Street. Outside of, being, outside of being one of the absolute coolest presentations I've ever seen, I really, really enjoy the fragrance. It's considered an oriental gourmand fragrance. So it has notes of vanilla, it has a caramel note, and that very, very famous blueberry note. Now, a lot of people like to mention the fact that the scent of peace from Bond Number no. 9 is reminiscent of Aventus. But to me, this will smell a lot closer to Aventus than scent of peace. And that comes from the fact that, in addition to those other notes, it has a, a, a black currant note in here as well. 
So it kind of gives you that vibe of a vintage, but of course more go mine. We really enjoy wearing this from the house of bond number nine. This is Bleaker Street. The next fragrance on my list that I would have to keep comes from the house of Serge Lutines, and this is none other than Cher Guy. This has that infamous hay note along with sandalwood and vanilla, and it also has, of course, tobacco. This is a very rich and deep and sensual fragrance. Now, this is one of the ones that I put on and I really cannot stop smelling myself, and I love getting whips of this when I wear it. Um, it performs great. Beautiful, beautiful tobacco and hay note in this. I would have to keep Serge Lutins, Cher Guy. The next fragrance on my list that I would have to keep comes from my house again of Amouage, and this is none other than Amouage Reflection Man. This fragrance has a host of white floral notes um, in it, and it just comes off very, very, very floral, but it's also very masculine. Um, I've seen some people talk about this vibe that comes off of Reflection Man that's almost like, uh, gives you this vibe of like tortilla chips. And I can kind of get where they're coming from with that, but I really, really, really enjoy this one. I will have to keep on Watch Reflection Man. The next fragrance on my list that I will have to keep, again, is no stranger to the fragrance community. And this one comes from the house of Parfum de Marley. And this is Parfum de Marley, Herod. Of course, the major player in Herod, we have that, that rich tobacco note. And this one is kind of sweet. It's a sweet tobacco, but not overly sweet. Very masculine, very, very, very sophisticated. Um, in addition to uh, the tobacco note, you also have some vanilla in here as well, some ISOE Super and Musk. Beautiful scent uh, to wear in the fall and winter seasons. This is from the House of Parfums in Marley, and this is none other than the infamous Herod. The next fragrance on my list is one of my absolute favorite fragrances, Designer or Niche. From the House of Creed, this is none other than Creed's original Santal. I know it kind of smells like a Mont Blanc individual, and I'm not going to even mention the other fragrance that people talk about because it doesn't smell like that to me anymore. But I really, really enjoy this one. It has cinnamon, it has vanilla, it has juniper berries. One of my absolute favorite fragrances. Just a very fresh, easy to wear fragrance that I can wear any time of the year for any occasion. So I would definitely have to keep this in my collection. This is from the House of Creed, and this is original Santal. All right, guys, I'm down to my top two. This next fragrance is sexiness in a bottle. This is one of the most sexy fragrances I've ever had the opportunity to smell. This was from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John, and this is Grand Soir. This one has amber and vanilla. Uh, it's very, very, a very, very rich and true amber. Now, one of the best amber um, notes that I've ever smelled in perfumery. Um, it's very, very, very sensual. Again, very, very sexy fragrance. Great for the fall and winter. This is from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John. And this is Grand Squad. And guys, last but certainly not least, my uh, next fragrance, and my last fragrance on this list comes from the house of Tom Ford as well. And this is Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. I know it was a very, very popular song by a rapper Drake that talked about and mentioned this fragrance. They say that this fragrance on the opening smells like cocaine. I have no clue if that's true or not. I can tell you that the opening, opening of this is very, very, very uh, unique smelling. And since they say it smells like cocaine, I'm like LeVar Burton on this one. I'm guessing I'm going to have to take your word for it because I've never smelled it, cocaine, and I plan to never smell it. So, very, very, um, I would say different on the opening, but the major two players in this are leather and raspberry. It, this one kind of is very reminiscent to me if you've ever smelled uh, like a brand new, very, very high-end car, the leather in there, uh, that those leather seats. This is a very, very true leather uh, fragrance and it's sweetened up a little bit by notes of like raspberry but it's just very very beautiful and gorgeous um, I get good wear of this out in the fall in the winter as well um, again just a very very unique and polarizing scent so I have to keep this in my collection this comes from the house of Tom Ford this is none other than Tuscan Leather okay guys thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video again if you haven't yet like comment subscribe and share my videos. And definitely go ahead and hit that bell so we can get notifications of future videos that I'll be bringing to you on this channel. Now, this was a tag video, and although I wasn't tagged, I will say that there are 
a few reviewers that I would like to see do this same challenge. Um, Kevin Samuels, my frat, what's going on, Nope? If you could, man, I really, really, really would look forward and enjoy seeing your top 10 niche if you can only have 10. Uh, Coach Rob619, I really would enjoy seeing your list as well. Max 14. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know it's going to be some great lists from those three guys. Also, my man Lee from Lee and Style Fragrances. Lee, if you can do this video, man, I appreciate you making it. I will attack my man. I'm going to go ahead and shout out my man Benny Daniels, man. I don't think Benny said he don't really mess with um, a whole lot of niche fragrances, but I would tag him on this. But I do want to mention, man, he's a very, very good guy, very, very supportive. So I'm also going to link his uh, his channel down here in the uh, description. Again, his name is Benny Daniel. He's a very, very good guy, very supportive. Um, one of the, uh, the best spirited people I've met and come to, well, not met personally, but I, that I've come into contact with since I've been, uh, you know, doing fragrance reviews. I want to send him a shout out. So, Guys, that's all the time I have today. Again, my name is the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling amazing. So until next time, take care of yourself. Keep looking good. Keep smelling amazing. Peace.